All right, so it's been a long time since I've made a video on this channel, and uh, a lot has happened since the last time I made a video. The car's moved lots of places. Uh, it's been a couple of years, and um, I've got a lot of work done. This is actually the electric car right now as it stands. Check that out. So I actually got all the metal repaired for it. Well, most of the metal repaired for it, still a few things. But I've started putting the whole thing back together. So there's still a few panels missing, like the one on the other side, those two panels there. I have them all. They, just, they go on really quickly. It's just they're kind of going to be in the way of uh, some of the stuff I still need to put onto the car as far as electric components go. And so right here, there's going to be a battery box right there. It's going to be a battery box right there. And then back here, let me just pop this. It's going to be some batteries right here. So there's the transmission. I just had that repaired. I, uh, <laughs> funny story is that the car sat outside for a while, um, over the winter when it was supposed to be getting some work done on it. And, uh, the throw out arm on the, uh, on the transmission got all seized up. So I had that fixed. I also had to put on a new slave cylinder and new lines. I ran all new lines for that as well. I put in all new brake lines. Everything's all hooked up for the most part, still a few odds and ends, but I'm actually able to start putting in some of the electronic stuff. So right here is my engine hoist. And that is going to be the next uh, plan of attack. I'm going to be putting that in. Another thing I, uh, I did was I put all the interior back in. I actually had, well, not all the interior, but it's coming together. A lot of it's back in, but still a lot of center console stuff and, and dashboard components. And that's not the actual gauge pod that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be posting videos online um, that have stuff to do with Fieros. And just like if somebody needs help rewiring the front headlights for example which is something i'm going to do uh, or uh you know other questions actually if you have questions of things that you don't know how to do or that you'd like to do maybe i've done it maybe i can show you a video on it but uh, i'm going to start posting electric videos too like videos about the electric components but um yeah all right it's time to put the engine in the electric car there's the engine focus focus please there we go there's the electric motor now okay i understand that this might look a little bit um you know reckless but the bungee cords are actually just there to help stabilize the motor so it's not swinging around like crazy um and, and balance it out but the straps are rated to actually hold it um so that's fine and so i'm just going to try and hoist it up lower it down into here and then uh once it's in there bolt it in and, and then again i have to also kind of balance it out a little bit i've got to um get a floor jack and, and kind of like raise it and lower it until it's the way it's supposed to be as far as like level and alignment and everything. And then I've got to uh, mock up a cardboard uh, motor mount and then I'll take the mock up in to get turned into steel. So that's the project right now. All right, this is the part I don't like. I've been moving that box uh, all the way along so it's staying underneath the, uh, the motor just in case one of the straps break. And that way it'll land on that and crush the box a little bit but not do any damage to the motor. Instead of laying on the ground and doing damage to the motor. But the gap from here to here, getting across the body and into the car is where it's like, I don't want that to fall and land on the body panels. That would be, that would just be devastating. But um, I guess if I take the deck lid off, I can just go straight in, straight down. I've been trying to not take the deck lid off, go around it, but it's probably safest and best just to go straight in, straight down, no deck lid in the way. So I guess that's what's next. So the motor is almost in. This is the tricky part. I've got to get past the, um, oh, I've got to get the, the spindle, the spline shaft there onto uh, the, uh, so the spline shaft from, from the transmission is coming out this way and it needs to get it onto uh, the motor coupling and everything. But I also have uh, the uh, the CV shaft right there, like the, I can't remember what you call that. That's the CV shaft, but the whole, the axle, what do you, I can't remember what that's called at the moment, but anyways, that's in the way. Um, but I think it's okay. You will be able to slide past it if I can actually get the, um, you know, the coupler lined up with the splines and everything. So I just got to wiggle it around and I kind of need help at this point because I need to kind of like tip it and move it and just difficult to do that when it's down in there. So uh, I'm working on that and hopefully the next time I turn this camera on, it'll be in. Okay, so I did it. I got it in and it feels great. Look at it in there. All the bolts in there. Okay, focus. Come on. There we go. All the bolts are in there just holding it on tight and all I got to do now is mock up a motor mount down at this end and... um Add a cardboard, send it off, get a metal one made. I just, I'm just so stoked though. This is like the beginning. It's finally cool. Like I've been seeing so many photos, just doing all the research and everything else online of like this photo right here of like the engine bay and seeing like the motor in the car. And I've seen so many Fieros too that have had this because I've just been looking at every Fiero on EV album 
And now I can take a photo and I can post it because my motor is in the car. That's pretty cool.